Rule 1 of Attack Surface Reduction Block Abuse of Exploited Vulnerable Signed Drivers This rule is a standard protection rule with minimal to least user impact. The behavior that this rule targets is to prevent any application from writing vulnerable signed driver to disk. Now this rule is not going to target the drivers which are already installed on the machine. The attack technique which this rule targets is exploitation of privilege escalation and the mitigation ID is 1050 which basically lists down a method of deploying exploit protection. Okay, so let's say if I'll show you the official documentation. This is what you can read. It will be there in the description section. Exploitation of privilege escalation is something that's been targeted by this particular rule. And if you'll go ahead and read about the mitigation strategies, it's lists down the behavior or let's say the requirement of implementing Windows Defender exploit guard. Now, this is because when attack surface reduction rule was introduced initially, it was a part of Windows Defender exploit guard. From a deployment method standpoint, this rule can be deployed from Intune, Group Policy and PowerShell. But for now, this rule cannot be deployed from Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Now, this rule can also be deployed from MDM based on the CSP policies that you are configuring. Okay. From notification standpoint, this rule does not generate EDR notification, whereas a user notification is generated. Now, let's say if you want to know rule specific events, these are the two queries that you can use. The table that you have to use is device events and the action type should be ASR vulnerable signed driver audited or blocked. This is the good for this particular rule and the dependency is Microsoft Defender antivirus to be running in an active state with the cloud protection on. That's it.